rap line is killing it right now. This is so good. Hey guys, Andrew Berg here. I'm a jazz musician and teacher. Welcome to this episode, down the BTS Rabbit Hole. All right, I'm so excited for this one. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to the BTS Proof live performance um, with a special guest. Um, okay, so I've already reacted to the Yet to Come music video, so I know that song very well. Um, also from BTS, but no, that's not in here. Um, but I haven't heard Born Singer or For Youth. Um, so those are both going to be brand new for me, as well as I don't know who the special guest is yet. I, I'm filming this right now as my next reaction because I haven't been spoiled yet and I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> so I'm getting to this before I'm spoiled. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of new stuff um, I'm excited to listen to and hear for the first time with you guys today. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can feed the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get started. Oh, that's right. This was filmed, I think, while they were in Vegas. I'm a Okay, I have to talk about Sugar's rap. Like, okay, I okay, so I don't, I don't have the lyrics in front of me, so I can't see exactly what he's saying. I do want to react to Born Singer in the future and go through the lyrics and stuff with Caitlyn. I know they've changed the lyrics different times when they performed the song, so I think that'd be kind of a cool thing to go through that way. So I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the music itself and what Sugar was doing there because there's just a lot of really, really cool things. Okay, so rhythmically, the thing about Sugar's rap that I really, really enjoy um, is that it's it the flow is changing constantly. And I'll, I'll give kind of an example right now. Um, but so like in this section, um, it goes like the ba da ba da ba da ba ba Has that kind of, that rhythm to it. It's at a few different times. Sometimes with something else in between and sometimes not. But it, it's so interesting because it has this kind of like, um, it's almost like a call and response type of type of rhythm. Um, but the way he's doing it is it, it sounds very, very melodic. Without knowing the story of like the lyrics and everything, I can still feel a like narrative being told in this. Um, but then when he gets out of that, so he's going, it's like the da 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 da. And when he's, when he's getting out of that section, he has these small um, triplet lines. Um, so easiest way to describe what a triplet is, is um, most of Western music is divided up in pairs of twos or fours. Um, so if I was going to like do an average rhythm or something, if they're going to be like, you know, just one, two, three, four, um, or if I include like what they call the upbeat in between, it could be one and two and three and four and, um, but you don't see much of groups of threes cause they don't fit as evenly. They're not, you know, an even number, but when you do find it, it's really cool. So a triplet, what that would sound like instead, instead of going one and two and three and four and it would be triple lit, triple lit, triple lit, triple lit. So you can divide the word triplet into triple lit, and then you have three syllables kind of to work with. Um, or just, if I'm going to use not the language of it, but say da 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 da. I'll show you kind of an example right now, again, kind of going between when he goes the, the, 
the, that first section and then has that small section of triplet. Um, it's just such a cool, quick change that I think really changes the flow of what he's rapping. Um, and to me, it's just like draws me in so much because you have this repetitive thing that's like pulling you in and then he switches it just for just for a second just long enough to kind of throw you off a little bit um which is what i love about music is when something surprising happens something that you don't expect and that's really really cool and anyway makes me enjoy it a lot more <laughs> <laughs> The rap line is killing it right now. I can't wait to see what J-Hope is gonna do, considering like Shuka come out the coming out the gate. And RM was like honestly like close to as good as I've ever heard him. Like I was I've been really impressed with a lot of different things that he's done, but there were so many small flow changes in what he did. Um, and just these like small, like quick little rhythms. And I can't even think to like break it all down right now. I think I'm just gonna have to give Born Singer its own reaction in the future to kind of go through some of these things because like, it's so, so impressive. But during the, um, I wanna talk about during the, the chorus of the song, during the vocal line, I think it was Jungkook and Jin singing, I think during that one. I'm not, I can't remember 100%. I know Jin for sure was. Um, it actually was during while Jin was singing that I heard it the most is, um, the, the background vocalist, that like gospel kind of sound was really, really cool. Um, those such good harmonies behind it. It gave a different kind of feel to it in that moment. I really enjoyed it. Um, and then the guitar solo happening during RM's rap as well. This is really, really good so far. I, I really think I need to give Born Singer its, its own reaction um, because I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, and I want to hear like what the studio version is like and everything too. Also, the older versions too. I yeah, I gotta I gotta do this. <laughs> it's gonna happen in the future. <laughs> Okay, I, I have stopped every time they hit a chorus. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... Okay, the harmonized rapping between um, Jungkook and, and um, J-Hope. I love how different J-Hope's rap was from um, Suga and RM, who also had their own distinct raps. Like, everyone had their own style. Talk about that a lot. But just want to say, 
I love that J-Hopes was more almost like vocal. It was almost singing, but still had a rap element to it. Um, and also the guitar solo really picking up during that too. This arrangement is, I mean, I haven't, I don't know, I haven't heard the original version of the song, but I can tell that a lot of this is going to be part of this arrangement. This arrangement is fantastic. So, so, so well done. And I think this is actually even a cover of another song, but I, I just love what they're doing with this, and it, it feels like it's their own song. This really feels just like a, like it's a BTS song. It doesn't feel like it's it's a cover of someone else's, especially with this live arrangement they're doing and everything, too. Um... God, this is so good. Um, okay, looks like we're hitting a drop chorus now with Jungkook. Um, let's get back into it. Oh, those harmonies, the vocal line. I am just, I love that so much. I'm like, oh my God, okay. Commentating on the singing first. The vocal line is, was killing it in that last section with their like, with the, with the different harmonies they had there, but also just how their voices blended so well. Um, like it really almost sounded like one one person singing. That's how well they had blended their voices together. And, um, but compare that with, the um the background singers as well the the like gospel kind of harmonies and stuff in there again just another kind of element of like texture to the song itself and the arrangement and then you throw in the guitar solo so it's a drop chorus I mean there's no drums or very little um and it's just kind of focusing on the singing but you still having that guitar solo in there is so cool and different because usually it's a drop chorus is usually just everyone drops out there's nothing and just just the singing but to have the guitar solo in there too ah, it's just like i really enjoyed that in case you guys couldn't tell okay let's let's keep on going this was awesome so far oh my god was it honestly the best because i just want to see the next but you don't need to know it's a different drummer. Oh, Anderson Peck. Oh, my God, Anderson Peck. That's awesome. He sounds so good in this song. It hits his voice perfectly. Okay, um, I need to talk about Anderson Pack and the drums for a second. Um, okay, there's probably a lot of things happening that most people are not going to be picking up on and being like, he sounds so much better than the last drummer. Um, because if you don't know to listen for it, you you wouldn't you probably wouldn't hear it. There's so many subtle things he's doing, um, just like how he's building sections up, the small fills that he's doing. Um, drum fill meaning that like. You literally just fill space before the next thing that happens. Um, so if there's a, a gap where no one's singing, that's a good spot for a drum fill. But what great drummers do and what he's doing 
is he's adding in drum fills basically everywhere. So he's keeping time, but he has that kind of like basic drum groove going, but is constantly adding in different things the entire time. The guys feel super, super comfortable singing over it. And I think it's because like when you have a good drummer, like the groove of the song is so good that it's just so easy to do everything else, like for the rest of the musicians and singers and everything else. You can tell they feel comfortable, but it's also really fun for me because it's just like, constant things happening, always something new, always something different, always something that I think propels the song forward even more than it already does. And this performance is awesome. I love how it sounds. It's, it's, it's really good. This is really entertaining. Um, okay, let's keep going. Again, that guitar solo is awesome! <laughs> okay, it seems like a good place to pause for a second. Um, yes. <laughs> I loved every second of it, and I promise I'm not trying to be extra and over the top with my reactions and everything. I am just so pumped right now listening to this. Like, I love Anderson Pack, And not only, like, just recently with Silk Sonic, with Bruno Mars and everything, um... But, like, I've always been a fan of him, especially with his, like, drumming. I've heard his drumming a lot, and I love it. He is so incredibly talented, um, rhythmically, like, with what little things he adds, um, while still having, like, the groove feel really, really good. Um, again, that's really, really difficult to do, and so good but the the harmonies that were happening in this and also during um the last chorus i guess um of yet to come there's like a small trade-off moment jungkook was almost kind of he was almost singing the same part just like offset a little bit almost like it was like around or something ah my god this is so good I really, really enjoyed it. I still have a long, they must, they must talk or something. It's only one more song and there's still 18 minutes left. So they must be talking or something after this. But um, anyway, I love what I'm hearing so far. I need to keep on watching. <laughs> okay, guys, please give a warm welcome to our dearly special guest, Anderson. Hey, hey, come here, come here. Come right here. What's up? 가자. 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 Anderson Pack looks so happy to be 네, there with them. 감사하게도 Anderson 이번 타이틀 퍼포먼스에 드럼을 쳐주셨으면 좋겠다는 저희 제안에 응원해줘서 이렇게 특별한 무대를 꾸밀 수가 있었습니다. We you really made our stage special, Anderson. 진짜? Thanks to you. 진짜. 진짜 농담 아니야. 농담. So can you tell us about uh, your first impressions of Yet to Come? Um, how did it sound to you? I love it. It's like it reminds me of church. It's great. It's Chincha Chua. Church. It's you, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. You being here for us really means a lot to you. Uh, what made this amazing collab possible was that we've been seeing each other lately. We were at the Grammys together. We went to each other's concerts lately. It was, it was um, my son, because he's a big fan. Oh, so yeah? He made me a fan. 
And ever since, hey. I've been obsessed. I've been Army ever since. Thank and you. And then we just kept running into each other. Grammys, the show. It's been great. Thanks to Junior Pack. Yeah. Shout out to Soul. Shout, she. Shout out to Soul. I do remember seeing some of the clips from, one from the Grammys of them, um, of them like singing to her and stuff. And I also heard about the fact that they were going to those concerts and stuff at, um, like while they were in Vegas. And at that, I remember at that time I was like, is there going to be an Anderson Pack or a Silk Sonic collab with BTS? That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> and then of course now seeing this and I'm like, it happened. <laughs> okay. Get back to it. I promise. I promise. I'll stop pausing as much. I just, I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> so um the silk sonic concert we've all been there um it was you liked it it was marvelous yeah Otesio, silk sonic concert Otesio. how was it boom let's go amazing. boom it was boom. amazing yeah. um, it was uh, hey. yeah. it was legendary i like your yeah. pants <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's been fun, man. You guys have the Vegas show too, right? Uh, yes. Oh, man. Yes, I can't uh, wait to see it. Thanks. I know that was incredible. Thanks again for your taking some time today. Appreciate uh, you guys, so man. Our fans will love this premiere. Now, we should let uh, this legend go since he's probably one of the busiest people now, I don't in America go. these days. Anya. Anya? Anya? We go to Vegas. <laughs> we go to Vegas. <laughs> now, thank, thank you, you thank so much, so man. Come on. Yo. Thank you. Come on. Man. Come, come on. on. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Come on. I love you, bro. See you. I'm so happy to meet 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 you. I'm so happy ね、もう、パンクバンドの注目처럼、パンクダンソンダンえ、최고의 저희 단독 콘서트가 이제 시작된 날이 있었잖아요. 아, 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 14년 10월 네. 11월인가. 네. 그때가 이제 저희의 이제 최고의 순간의 시작이 아닌가. 아하. 네, 그렇게 생각이 듭니다. 2013년 6월 12일 저희 쇼케이스 한 날. <웃음> 아직도 기억납니다. 그 킹콩 빌딩 지하. 예. 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 일지아 투어. 맞죠? 네, 기억납니다. 예. <웃음> 네, 저는 그게 요즘 많이 기억남더라고요. 저는 뭐 여러 순간들이 있었지만 역시 뭐 저희끼리 얘기할 때 항상 이제 최조는 하고 해보고 은퇴해야 되지 않겠냐 그런 말 많이 했어요. 그래서 화영이나 아마 에필로그였나 그때 최초로 그 최조 경기장 공연을 했던 그 날이 또 최고의 순간 하나 중 아니었나 그렇게 생각합니다. 예. Yeah. 어뭐저 같은 경우는 이제 옛날에 이제 정국이가 울어 하면 울 때. 그게 최고의 순간인가요? 최고의 순간이 아니었나? 지금 최고의 순간이야? 10년 차가 되면서 그게 최고의 순간이야. 아주 정말. 근데 얘 변했어. 소박하고 좋네요. 원래 이젠 이젠 다시는 못 볼. 사람 변해. 사람 변해요. 안 변하면 사람. 변하지. 나도 변. 제가 뽑은 최고의 순간은 뭐 여러 가지 최고의 순간이 있겠지만 어 제가 이 회사에 들어온 날. 어 그때 기점으로 이제 바뀌었죠 미래가. 어 그래요. 제가 있기에 이 비트스가 있는 거라고 생각하기 때문에 감사합니다. 꼭 내보내주세요. 이것만 내보내주세요. 질문 답변. 죄송합니다. 장담입니다. 에, 제가 뽑은 최고의 순간은 뭐딱 하나만 뽑으라 했지만 전 정말 매 순간 순간이 정말 최고의 순간이지 않나 아, 라는 생각을 마지막이라고. 하고 있습니다. 네. 마지막이니까. 아, 자 이렇게 얘기하다 보니까 정말 저희가 많은 순간들을 함께 하긴 한것 같습니다. 참 감회가 새롭지 않습니까 여러분? 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 저 뭐. 네, 뭐제 고등학생 아 고등학교 졸업식 때 형들 와주고 so nice. 형들 수능 볼때 외모들 막 도시락 싸고 그랬던 기억이 아 지금도 막 그런 하네요 한데 그죠 그죠 그래도 뭐 지금의 저희의 모습이 어, 저희는 우리 서로에게 좀더 자랑스러워도 될것 같습니다 아 그렇습니다 네. 자랑스럽나요? 네 자, 모두 모두 고생 많았고요 앞으로도 굉장히 많이 뭔가 치댈 테니까요 네. 우리 같이 좀더뭐 고생 한번 해보, 해보자고요 아, 네. 그럼요 네뭐 아, 최고의 아. 순간은 영원히 안올수 있을 것 같아요 뭐좀 오글거리게 뭐 드릴지 몰라도 오우 예 9년을 꽉 채운 활동 기간 동안 저 멤버들 또 팬분들의 소중함을 깨닫게 됐고 함께 있다면 매일매일이 또 새로운 최고의 순간이지 않을까 네, 그렇게 생각하는데 yep. 어쨌든 뭐 그건 그거고 아, 각자 한번 박수 한번 쳐줍시다. 박수! 아, 박수! 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 
네, 어, 이번 무대를 준비한 데에는 단순히 여러분께 곡을 들려드리고 싶은 마음뿐만 아니라 오래도록 고민해온 것들을 아미분들께 허심탄회하게 얘기하고 싶은 기회를 마련하고 싶었습니다. 온 이후로 이제 코로나를 맞이하고 그 이후 2년 동안 어, 저에게도 아미분들에게도 참 많은 변화가 있지 않았습니까? 생각지 못한 일들을 많이 벌였던 그쵸. 것 같아요. 참. 많은 일들이 있었네요. 그렇죠. 뭐 지금에서 와서 말할 수 있는 거지만 2020년부터 지금까지 저희가 했던 많은 것들이 아, 미리 계획된 곳은 전혀 아니었고요. 하나도 없었어. 네. 진짜 계획대로 간게 하나도 어, 없었어. 지금도 와서 하지 않으니까. 그때그때 고민하고 결정해가면서 한 되게 갑작스러운 것들이 예, 많았어요. 유동적인 것들이 많았는데 또 이렇게 걸어가면서도 사실 뭐 이게 맞나 좀 무섭기도 하고 어떤 게 정답인지 고민들이 어, 많이 늘어나지 않았나 그런 생각이 듭니다. 많이 어. 고생했다고 아, 고생하셨습니다. 다시 한번 말씀드려 주고 싶습니다. 굉장히 고생했습니다. 고생하셨습니다. 네, 맞습니다. 사실 오늘 활동할 때까지만 해도 갑자기 이제 음악 방송에 팬분들이 오실 수 없게 어, 되고 어, 그게 이렇게까지 어려운 상황으로 이제 바뀌게 될지 몰랐잖아요, 저희들이. 맞습니다. 우리가 또 투어할 수 없는 상황이라는 걸 알았을 때 우리 그 기억 나시죠? 아, 굉장히 기억나죠. 우려하고 암담해하고 그랬었는데. 아. 이제 조금만 기다리면 어, 코로나도 끝나고 바로 투어를 돌수 있을 줄 알고 기다렸는데 이제 그게 2년이 이렇게 넘게 걸릴 줄 아무도 몰랐잖아요. <웃음> 3개월 뒤면 네. 할수 있지 않을까요? 네. 3개월 뒤면 공연할 수 있지 않을까 이랬는데 그치, 정말 2년이. 그 아무것도 모르는 상황에서 이제 뭘 할까 네. 이제 저희끼리 이제 고민도 하고 회사도 고민하다가 이제 그렇게 나온 게 다이너마이트잖아요. 그렇죠. 네, 뭐 코로나 시기를 우리 식대로 한번 넘겨보자 했던 어, 그런 도전이었던 것 같고 그게 또 다음에 다음 여러 선택으로 또 이어졌죠. Okay, um, I already touched on this during the um, the reaction to the dinner party, um, but um, I guess I just want to say again, just kind of like reiterate what I had said in a previous video, but um, I can't imagine the logistical nightmare of like what they had to go through with that, with canceling an entire tour, which means all the people involved, obviously all the venues involved. There's so many different aspects. And then just... Not even that, though, but just, like, for them emotionally, right? Like, spent all this time preparing you, you know, make an album with the intention of, of touring it, of doing these things, and then just not being able to, right? Just having to, you know, you did a couple performances of some of the songs, and, and that was it. Like, I, I can't imagine that. Toll that it would take on someone, just that again, that emotional toll that way. I mean, I, guess I, I can't imagine it in some ways, but um, but something as big as a tour for a group as big as them, with, I mean, I think at the, I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think at the time, like on was one of their biggest songs ever. Um, so to have that like success behind you, and then just have no idea what's going to happen next, and then of course that ended up leading to dynamite, and then butter, and permission to dance. Um, and also um, my universe with Coldplay. Um, of course, the the B album. There's many different things that came from that moment of not being able to tour, not being able to to do those things. Um, but I just think it's I just think it's so interesting. Um, you know how how life works that way sometimes, right? Like I think in the end, everything's going to happen how it's going to happen, um, and. I think that they've done a great job with that, with kind of dealing with those different things. Um, and I actually don't know if this video came out before the dinner party or not. Um, I'm not positive what day things came out. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, again, they talked about it during the dinner party too, about how how it affected the rest of, you know, their careers now and their entire lives really are, have been affected by just that one tour being canceled. Um, of course, a lot of other factors than that. Just simplifying it again. Um, but anyway, I, I think it's it's amazing what they've what they've gone through and, and um, that they're still here to just do their thing. You know, I love it. 제가 정말 이름처럼 그렇게 터질 줄도 몰랐죠. 네, 아미 분들한테 정말 참 감사드리고 또 다이너마이트가 예상에 이렇게 사랑을 받았던 건또 사실이지만 어, 거기에만 집중해서 어, 똑같은 걸 계속하는 아티스트가 되고 싶지는 않았던 것 같아요. 네. 그래서 오히려 예상을 뒤엎고 저희 감정을 오롯이 담은 그런 B 앨범을 또 내게 되었고 방탄소년단 
다웠던 좀 선택이 아니었나라는 생각이 듭니다. 안전한 길을 좀 가는 것보다 그래도 저희가 하고 싶은 이야기를 했던 게 뭔가 저희다운 게 아닌가라는 생각도 들고요. 네. 네, 아, 근데 또 뭐, 또 너무 이제 팬데믹, 이제 코로나에 지친 이제 일상들에 대한 위로 이런 말들을 좀 오래 하다 보니까 이제는 뭐 생각을 많이 안 하고 그냥 즐길 수 있는 이제 음악을 들려드려야겠다라고 생각을 하고 이제 버터랑 퍼미션 투 댄스를 이제 발표하게 되었죠. 네, 맞습니다. 어, 그냥 같이 이제 흥얼거리면서 춤추고 모두 함께 하자 이제 그렇게 한 해를 또 보냈었죠. 네, 또 2년 지나고 AMA에서 이제 강계 앞에서 공연했을 때 그리고 또뭐 콘서트를 오프라인으로 다시 하고 또 아미들의 에너지를 온몸으로 느꼈을 때 2년간의 모든 고민들과 아쉬움들이 다시 그 내려가는 것 같았습니다. 맞습니다. 맞는 것 같아요. 이게 내가 좋아한 일이었지 하면서 뭔가 좀 보상받은 느낌 뭐 그런 게 있죠. 그렇죠, 아, 그렇죠. 정확하죠. 네, 네 뭐, 온라인이나 오프라인이나 저희 사랑해주고. I'm getting goosebumps from this conversation right now. 이나 퍼포먼스 보다 해드린다는 건. You know, like thinking, thinking back to being at at the concert, at the first Christian dance concert in LA, I was there, um, and being in that, like, the best thing for me about that, because at that point I'd only been, I'd only been, I'd only like heard BTS for the first time like six months before that, um, so I was, you know, I, I was, I still considered myself Army at the time, but it wasn't like now where it's, I mean, it's been a year. Um, so twice as long, but um, what I remember most from going to that concert, though, um, it wasn't the the performances. It wasn't um, you know, the visuals they had, the dancing, the singing. What I honestly remember most about going to the Permission Dance concerts was one BTS's excitement to be able to be performing in front of people again, and how just just like. The excitement they had just to be there and just having fun and then the other side of it was looking around at the stands looking around when we were when my wife and i parked in the parking structure walking over seeing those people around us who were just ecstatic just the happiest you could possibly be were these people all around us all army all just so excited to be there And that energy we could feel in the crowd, just like, just erupting from every seam of that stadium. And it just made me so happy to be there amongst everyone. I'll, I'll never forget just like being there and looking around being like, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where this many, where every single person is having a good time. Every single person is so glad that they went. And then also having the group reciprocating that and have it just be like, this coalescence of just like happiness and joy and just like anyway it was i really really enjoyed that side of it so hearing them talk about is having it wash away that's like how i experienced it as well with with fr from me watching them they seem to just it just was them just existing i really enjoyed that i i won't forget that feeling that the crowd had and that I had being there and that they seemed to have while they were there it just was so many good vibes. 되게 좋은 일이긴 한데 확실히 직접 만나서 좀 에너지를 주고 받고 하는 게 저희를 움직이는 또 원동력 아니겠습니까? 그렇죠. 또 이번 투어를 하면서 또 많이 느꼈던 것 같아요. 앞으로도 투어 많이 해서 많은 분들과 교감할 수 있는 그런 시간을 아 가졌으면 좋겠습니다. 아 물론 이겠습니다. 네, 저희가 이렇게 또 한번 어, 얘기를 하게 됐는데 뭐, 뭐 길게 얘기할 건 없을 것 같고 어쨌든 지금 저희가 이 라이브를 하는 게 엔솔로지 때문에 하는 거잖아요. 프로프 때문에. 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 그래서 프로프를 어, 왜 내게 됐는지 또 어, 뭐 구성 이런 거에 대해서 한번 얘기를 해볼게요. 어, 우리 진영이랑 또 태영이가 약간씩 좀 설명해 주면 좋을 것 같아요. 네, 어, 이 앨범은 저희가 이제 데뷔한 지한 10년 정도 됐으니까 뭐한 번씩 뭔가 이렇게 우리가 냈던 것들을 한번 정리하고 가자는 느낌에서 어, 이렇게, 이렇게 묶어서 내기도 했고 또뭐 어, 굉장히 좋은 곡들이 많이 담겨 있으니까 그 좋은 곡들을 한번 몰아서 어, 한 번쯤 들어주셨으면 좋겠다 하는 마음에서 낸 그런 것도 있죠. 그리고 자세히 보면은 이제 그 앨범 속에 저희의 이제 미공개 작업곡들이 아, 되게 많아요. 이제 거기에서 저희의 추억들, 저희의 이제 
작업했던 순간들을 조금 한번 뒤돌아보고 그리고 저희의 이제 이렇게 페이지 일장의 마무리를 한번 해보자 라는 음. 이제 분위기로 그렇게 해서 저희의 뭐 앨범을 만들었던 것 같습니다 그래서 보면 구성이 좀 재밌어요 뭐 CD도 3개고 어, 정말 많은 곡들이 들어가 있는데 또이 구성이나 이런 것들이 또 어떻게 되게 됐는지 또 멤버들이 얘기해 주면 좋을 것 같아요 참 이게 구성을 짜다 보니까 아무래도 이 곡들이 너무 많잖아요 그러다 보니까 어, 이제 CD가 많... 3장이 되더라고요 <웃음> <웃음> 구성을 하다 보니까 그러다 보니까 이제 CD 한 장은 이제 BTS 일대기를 담은 그런 어, 타이틀곡 그저 타이틀곡들이 네. 쭉 나열되어 있고 또 CD 한 장은 또 이제 멤버들에게 하고 싶은 그런 이야기들 뭐 멤버들에 대한 격려 그리고 뭐 리스펙 이런 것들을 또 CD 한 장에 또 담아봤고요 또 나머지 CD에는 이제 또 방탄소년단에게 빠질 수 없는 거는 이제 팬분 아미들이잖아요 <웃음> 네, 그래서 그 팬분들에 대한 사랑 뭐 그리고 또 우리 미공개 곡도 말 그대로 수록이 되어 있고 부끄럽긴 한데 네, 우리의 청춘을 만들어줘 우리 아미 여러분들께 바치는 그런 곡도 <웃음> 네, 들어가 있는 그런 CD로 구성을 해봤습니다 아, 되게 네. 재밌어 하면서 들으실 것 같아요 네, 추억이 <웃음> 담긴 곡들이 좀 많이 있으니까요 저는 이게 제... 참 어. 하세요 정우 씨 얘기하세요 아, 정우 씨 그때 제 목소리를 다시 듣고 참한번 놀랬다고요? 아, 그거 그런, 보는 거 놀란 거예요 그런, 네. 그런 재미가 있지 어, 다 그런 재미가 있는 거고 이제는 말할 수 있다 어, 이런 느낌으로 어, 그리고 또 이제 뭔가 저희들이 이게 발표한 곡들이 워낙 많다 보니까 이거 추리는 데도 굉장히 시간이 많이 걸렸어요 맞아요 그래서 저는 뭐딴걸 떠나가지고 그 저도 어떠한 이 아티스트에 관심이 가지게 되면 이 처음 앨범부터 듣기가 사실 좀 힘들거든요 아, 어렵지 그 모든 곡을 듣기가 힘든데 우리의 정말 액기스만 모아놓은 정말 약간 그래요. 하나의 약간 입문서 음. 약간 아. 이런 아이들, 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 아이들 입문서 이런 데로 따라오시면 BTS에 대해서 어느 정도 좀 이해가 되실 겁니다 를 yeah. 네, 약간 좀 Yeah, it makes sense like having having title tracks in there gives you an idea of like their hits and everything having the songs that they said that they were kind of dedicated to each other having that, I guess what I'll call like B-side tracks, like the non, non-title tracks, and then, yeah, having unreleased songs and stuff so you can see different versions of songs that were released, um, which I haven't heard any of those yet. I do want to hear, like, um, just a couple off the top of my head, I'm thinking of, there's like a Spring Day version, I think, um, that was different. Uh, Epiphany has a dim- different version. Um, anyway, there's other things on there, um, and I'm excited to hear that at some point. And kind of actually maybe even compare like, you know, kind of taking like Epiphany, comparing the demo to the released album version um, and kind of comparing them, I think it'd be super interesting too to see how the songs are the same or different um, and then do that for each of those songs, I think is really, really interesting. And that's how I do things just in general in my own time. Like that's the thing that I would do. Um, so maybe I'll make a video or two about it or several, I don't know. Um, I think it'd be kind of interesting. Let me know if you guys want me to make that kind of a video comparing the different versions and stuff. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun. And if so, tell me which which ones you want me to look at. Okay, let's let's see, listen more what they have to say. 보여줄 수 있는 게 기본서, 지침서 같은 느낌이라서 저는 그래서 좀좀더 쉽게 접근할 수 있지 않을까. 저희의 모든 것이 좀다 녹여져 있는 앨범이라는 것을 참고하시고 들어주시면 좋을 것 같고요. 뭐 얘가 좀 길어지긴 했는데 아무튼 이제 바로 어, 다음 곡인. 이제 포유스로 넘어갈 건데 이 노래는 이제 말 그대로입니다. 뭐 영포에버의 뭐 연장선이라면 연장선인데 어 저희의 젊음을 함께 해준 모든 분들께 어 바치는 노래고 뭐팬 당연히 아미들을 포함해서 뭐 우리의 가족들, 친구들 그리고 멤버들, 뭐 회사분들 모든 분들께 어 바치는 그런 노래라고 할수 있을 것 같아요. 뭐 젊음을 설명... 젊음을 위하여. 그렇죠. 뭐 너무 거창하긴 한데 되게, 한국어로 되게 하니까 건배사 같네. 젊음을 네. 위하여. 그러니까. 그냥 뭐 들으시면 어. 바로 또 어떤 느낌이신지 느낌 아니까. 네. 네. 바로 한번 네, 가보도록, 가보도록 하겠습니다. For your use. Let's go. At some point, I'll react to Young Forever and For You. I think in the same video. If I never met you, I'll never know. Forever and For You. 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 For
I'm gonna go back to the chorus again in a second. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, just again, how good the vocal line sounds. Um, having them each have a moment to sing part of that chorus um, so far has been really, really great. And, you know, it's so interesting. You can tell, so obviously, you know, they mentioned the name of the song um, and they talked about it a little bit. Of course, the line like, if I never met you, Again, I'm, I'm focusing on the lyrics again more in the future when I do a reaction with Young Forever um, and and for youth kind of in one video at some point. But just, again, it's, it's, it's another example of, I don't know all the lyrics they're singing right now, but I can feel the emotion of what they're, of, of what they're singing. And then you pair that with the background singers, um, which again, I've been saying this entire time, sound amazing especially paired with these songs and how they're doing them and everything. This is, I, my God, uh, makes me so sad that this is probably the last time we're going to hear them singing all together for a while because um, they're all going to go off into their solo projects and everything. But if you have to, like, if you're going to be taking any kind of break as a group, like, this is the kind of performance you want to have. You want to have something that is fun, that is emotional, that is cool, that is you know, unique in different ways and have a special guest. Like, this is the ultimate type of performance you can have. I love this. Ah, my God, this entire set is so good. <laughs> the entire video, the talking everything. Okay, um, I need to go back to, uh, to Hobie's rap. I love this, like, sing-style rapping that he did on this, as well as in Born Singer. This one even more so, that, like, that, same, that combination of singing and rapping. He felt very, like, a true R&B artist in that moment. Ah, oh, that's so good. And then the, uh, back and forth between Jin and V. Like, what? Like... I love having that like soft, tender side of Jin, and then have V just like tear into the song, just like belting, full, sounding amazing, and go back down to 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 Jin again in this like, like more intimate kind of thing. That that back and forth is this is so good. <laughs> Q 
key change. made me emotional um like the way it just it um i don't say it didn't fade out but just the way that like v saying that um after um after jungkook again killed it in that moment with the key change and everything and then Jimin coming back in and kind of starting off strong like Jungkook was but getting a little bit softer and then V kind of taking us home um I am I really like towards the end there just was like oh full body chills feel my eyes get a little heavy <laughs> um that was really good um I'm very, very um, impressed by this performance. Very impressed by um, by each of them. Every single person had a moment that truly, truly impressed me during this, um, and multiple times for each of them. Yeah, you know, I, I couldn't even comment on everyone the entire time because these songs are new to me. So I was getting that that side of it, and then um, you know, also having just like this pure talent and this pure emotion and pure just just uh artistic performance it took me on a journey um from being so amped in the beginning so excited for like sugar's rap right off the bat and then um rm's rap threw me for a loop then you have the guitar solos the background vocalists you just take it through each step anderson pack coming out all these different things the vocalists killing it with harmonies and just incredible singing and then it really was a like perfect performance um and i i do not use that lightly at all um i i truly believe that it's um just one of the best performances i could imagine it was amazing um i'm trying not to be overly dramatic or anything with this i just it really was just impressive and made me just appreciate them so much um and also makes me just feel like i want them to be happy so much and i can't wait for them to do their own solo things they're going to be doing and you know just doing what feels true to them um as individual artists and um individuals in general i'm just so excited to see what's what's gonna happen next right um best is yet to come well i'm i'm ready for it <laughs> um <sighs> i anyway really good i really enjoyed it thanks for watching my name is andrew berg and if you enjoyed this video and you want to follow me on this trick on the bts rabbit hole just please like subscribe the notification bell to notify the next time i post till next time mm -hmm.